Hi guys, 반가워요. It's my Tula, and this is my precious and magical story cauldron. It has all the stories from all around the world. 오늘도 친구들한테 재미있는 이야기 들려줄게요. Ribble wobble, ribble wobble, hula hala. Wee! <gasps> wow. Mm. Okay. Today's story is the king with donkey ears. Hmm. Wow. 임금님 귀가 당나귀 귀라고? 그럼 이렇게 뾰족하게 생겼나? 아 궁금해. Let's find out. A long time ago, there lived a king with ears shaped just like the ears of a donkey. He was very embarrassed to show his ears to other people. He was scared that people would laugh and make fun of him. So he always covered them up in public. The only person who saw the king's donkey ears was his hairdresser. Wow, his ears do look like a donkey. <gasps> 나도 해봐야지. Yes. Wow, marvelous. Oh, 장난 그만. Okay, back to the story. <sighs> okay, the king said to the hairdresser, "You must promise never to tell anyone that I have." Ears like a donkey, or I will punish you. Yes, of course, my king. I'll keep it a secret. <웃음> 네, 임금님, 약속을 꼭 지키겠습니다. The hairdresser found it very hard to keep this secret. He wanted to tell all the people in the village about the king's ears, but he remembered. The king's warning, and kept the secret. Instead, he thought about it by himself and laughed <laughs> all the time. One villager approached him and asked, "What's so funny? Tell us about it too. We love funny stories." He wanted to tell him the secret, but he couldn't. So he ran back to his house. The next morning, he knew he could no longer keep the secret. So, he went up to the hill and began to dig a hole. He made a very deep hole, and when he was satisfied with the size of the hole, he looked around to check no one was near. Then he leaned over into the hole and shouted. The king has ears shaped like a donkey. The king has ears shaped like a donkey. <sighs> He felt much better after shouting out the king's secret. So he covered the hole with grass and returned home. One day, as some children were playing on the hill, one young girl found the hole. Beneath the grass, the girl was curious to see what was inside. So she cleared the grass. Suddenly, a loud sound escaped from the hole. The king has ears shaped like a donkey, donkey, donkey. The voice filled the air, and it was so loud that all the villagers could hear it. And did. All the villagers burst into laughter. <laughs> no, they instead thought it was very cool and beautiful. The king has donkey ears. Mm, that's beautiful. What a special king we have! But the king was just angry and embarrassed. He didn't know his ears were beautiful. He knew the hairdresser told his secret, so he sent the guard to the hairdresser's house and brought him to the palace. The king said to the hairdresser, "You promised me that you would not share my secret, but 
you could not keep it to yourself. For this, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. The queen came to him and said, Husband, your donkey ears are nothing to be embarrassed about. They are beautiful and special. The king was surprised to hear that. Beautiful? Special? He never thought his donkey ears were beautiful or special. He just thought they were ugly. The hairdresser pleaded with the king. I am so sorry I couldn't keep your promise. King, please let me go. The king answered, I will let you go. I forgive you. It is wrong not to keep a promise, but thanks to you, I am not going to hide my donkey ears anymore. They are special and beautiful. And so, the hairdresser didn't have to stay in prison for the rest of his life. And the king didn't have to wear a wig for the rest of his life too. The end. Oh, what a beautiful story. The poor king. 저렇게 멋지고 특별한 당나귀 길을 왜 평생을 가리고 다녔을까? Can you go friends? 남들과 다르게 생겼다고 못생긴 건 아니에요. 홀라만여도 킨디고 친구들도 다 다르게 생겨서 저 홀라는 이 세상이 너무 너무 아름다워요. 친구들 오늘의 이야기도 재미있었다면 subscribe to Candy Good Channel 그리고 더 많은 이야기가 듣고 싶다면 like the video 마지막으로 I'll say a special spell to keep Candy Good Children safe and happy Ribble Wobble Ribble Wobble Hula Hala Wee 그럼 우리 다음번에 또 보자 안녕!